Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we demonstrate our understanding of rounding decimals. Here's our question. Which of the following show a number rounded to the nearest hundredth? Select the three correct answers. I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we first need to understand that we're selecting three correct answers out of these six answer choices. Now we need to understand that we are taking the numbers and we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. To do that, we need to understand our rounding rules. Our rounding rules state that we're going to look at the digit to the right of the digit that we're rounding to. So if we're asked to round to the nearest hundredth, we're going to look at the thousandths digit. We're going to consider the thousandths digit, and if the value of the thousandths digit is less than five, we're going to keep the value of the hundredths digit the same and drop all insignificant digits. So anything to the right of the hundredth digit. If the value of the thousandths digit is five or greater, we're going to round that last hundredths digit up one value and drop all the insignificant digits after the hundredths digit. So that's a big mouthful. Let's go practice. So the first thing I want to do is really look at my choices, and I'm noticing that choices A and B are the same number that's being rounded, but I have two different answer choices. So that tells me that possibly one of these is correct and one of them is incorrect. So we're going to consider just A and B right now because we're rounding the same number value. So we're going to look at the hundredths digit because that is what we're rounding to. And when we do that, we're asked in our rounding rules to look at the digit that comes to the right of that, which is the thousandths digit, and it's a six. Because the value is five or greater, it's a six, that means we are going to round up. It's greater, so we're going to round this up, so this two becomes a three. So our answer should be 10 and 83 hundredths, which is choice B, making A incorrect because it should have, this two should have rounded to a three. All right, let's try the next one. I'm noticing that choices C and D are the same number value needing to be rounded. So again, we're gonna look at the hundredths digit. Then we go to the thousandths digit. It's a seven because its value is five or greater. That means we need to round the four up one. So that means our answer rounded should be 23 and 65 hundredths, which is choice D. Choice C, there was an error, they didn't round up, so choice C is incorrect and choice D is correct. Now looking at E and F, same number that's being rounded, so we're going to consider E and F together. And we circle our hundredths digit, that's what we're rounding to. And then we're going to go to our thousandths digit, which is a 2, and that 2 is less than 5, so it's less than, meaning we're going to keep it the same. Keep the value the same and drop the insignificant digit. So the 2 is insignificant, and our rounded answer should be 54 and 18 hundredths, which is choice E, making our three correct answers, B, D, and E. So there you have rounding rules, rounding to the nearest hundredth. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up or leave a comment, and I hope you have a great day.